Plants and animals Parts of a plant Children, we see many kinds of trees all around us. Their shapes and sizes are different. We get different flowers, fruits and vegetables from these plants. Now, look at the parts of a plant. We see roots, stem, branches, leaves, flowers and fruits, both raw and ripe. Plants are of four kinds. Trees. Plants, those grow very big in size with hard and woody stem are called trees. Some trees have branches. They bear fruits like mango, neem and tamarind. Some trees don't have branches but bear fruits like coconut, palm, Ashoka trees. Shrubs. Shrubs have small and hard stems. They bear flowers like jasmine, hibiscus, rose. Herbs have thin and weak stem and give crops seasonally like paddy, chilies, mustard, etc. Climbers. Some plants have very lean stems that they can't stand erect. They need support. These plants are called climbers like beetle leaf, money plant, pea plant. Some plants go along the ground. They are called creepers like pumpkin, melon and bottle gourd. Some plants live in water and deserts also. For example, water lilies and aloe. Plants help us in many ways. The leaves of plants like tulsi, lemon, neem, mint are used as head bulbs. Rose, jasmine, lily flowers are used in preparing perfumes. Plants need water, air and sunlight to grow. Besides this, they get manure and nutrients from the soil. The fallen leaves and dung are the natural manure. Trees keep the surroundings with fresh air so that we can take fresh breath. The animals in our surroundings. Some animals live on land like cows, dogs, horses, elephants. Some animals live in water like fish, crocodile, whale. Birds fly in the air. Example, sparrow, crow, pigeon. There are some insects like ants, mosquitoes, houseflies and butterflies. Some creatures crawl on the ground like snakes, scorpions, lizards, etc. We can divide the animals into two groups. Big animals, elephants, giraffe, camel, horse. Small animals like dog, cat, goat and sheep. Elephant is the biggest animal on land. Blue whale is the biggest animal in water. The eagle is the biggest bird. The animals, those are tamed and keep in our houses are called domestic animals. They help us in many ways. We get meat from goat, sheep and hen. We get milk from cows, buffaloes and camels. We get eggs from hens and ducks. Dog help us in guarding and cats keep the rats away. Animals, those live in forests are called wild animals like lion, tiger, zebra and elephants. Carnivorous, 
the animals those eat only flesh of other animals herbivores the animals those eat only grass and leaves omnivores the animals those eat both flesh and leaves and vegetables now let us learn about how do the animals walk generally animals have four legs birds have two legs to walk and two wings to fly in the air some insects like house fly butterfly and cockroach have six legs and wings to fly some insects like the ant and bed bug don't have wings frogs feet have membranes of skin between its toes so it can jump easily as well as swim in water crawling animals some of the crawling animals are snake house lizard garden lizard centipede and chameleon snakes don't have legs but the remaining animals have four legs but are very short so they crawl on the ground honey bee is a flying insect these bees make honey combs to live in we get honey from these honey combs look at the spider it spins a cob web the cob web helps to catch the insects we must take some precautions when we see the harmful animals such as snakes scorpions or centipedes and also from mosquitoes and flies because they may cause some diseases like malaria malaria or chikungunya birds children do you like birds it is very interesting to know about the birds they are in different sizes colors and shapes have a look at them crow cuckoo pigeon woodpecker owl parrot sparrow ostrich hummingbird etc The ostrich is the biggest of all the birds whereas hummingbird is the smallest one. Birds make nests before laying their eggs. Some birds cannot make themselves so they live in holes of trees. Look at the pictures. Nest of a weaver bird. It is kite's nest and crow's nest. Dr Salim Ali is a world famous ornithologist that means a man who studies about the birds he wrote the food habits of birds and their beaks sparrow's beak is short and hard it eats seeds and insects this is parrot its beak is in red color with curved shape it eats fruits and seeds this is duck's beak it is long and wide its shape help the duck to filter the muddy water and to catch the insects in the water this is hummingbird's beak just like a needle it sucks honey from the flowers with it woodpecker's beak helps to peck the bark of the trees so that it is able to catch the insect have you observed the shapes of birds look at these the birds have boat shaped bodies their bones are hollow and filled with air so the light weight help them to fly in the air aeroplanes are invented by observing the methods of birds flying feathers also help the birds in flying at the same time they keep the birds warm here are different shapes of feet of the birds a webbed feet of duck feet with strong claws of an eagle short claws for scratching for a hen claws with hooked nails 
to clutch the branches for a parrot.